five years. College Mingo High Cane Fiscal Court uh, to order on July 26, 2022 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Jerry Camp, if he would, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this day, everything you're doing, Lord. Thank you for the full house here tonight, Lord, uh, community coming out together. Lord, uh, just be with us, guide us, give us strength, and we thank you for everything you're doing. In Christ's name, amen. 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 I was at the ledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you, you have the minutes of the July 12th meeting, need a motion to approve. Make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like side. Minister, our pass. Before you have the bills claim payments and transfers, including a late list. So moved. Motion for Larry Cam. Here, second. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Discussion? Just two items on the late list, or three items? Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like saying the bills and claims are paid. You have the uh, county clerk's 2022 financial report. Make a motion to acknowledge. Motion by Joe Barnes to acknowledge receipt. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like saying that report's approved. Okay, we also the, have the clerk's excess fees for reimbursement. We make a motion to acknowledge. Motion with Joe Barnes. Uh, we, need we need to approve this. And I'll make a motion to approve. Is, this, is it the $194.47 overpayment? I'll make a motion to uh, pay, I guess, refund uh, Bess or Ohio County <coughs> clerk uh, $194.47. I'll say Motion by. Jason Bullock, second with Joe Barnes. What happened there? Just this? Since you overpaid. Just an error. Just an error by a bookkeeper. All in favor say aye. 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 Polls like to sign. That so we're not paying any interest though. We also, it's off of the agenda, but we want to include it. The uh, treasurer's annual statement, which you all got a copy of. Annual review, it's called. You need a motion, Judge? Yes. Okay. Motion to Larry King. Motion to acknowledge, right? Yes. Motion to acknowledge, I'm sorry. I'll second. Second by but Jason Bullock. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. We have acknowledged that we've got that report. Um, we have a budget amendment. 2023-1, this is second reading. This is something that always has to be done the first of fiscal year. Early on, so motion by Larry Cam. Is this just the second? I'm not moving yeah. all the funds in. Uh -huh. Okay. You, you second it, Jason? Yeah, I'll second it. Second, Jason Bull. Any further discussion on that? Since it's the ordinance roll call it, Miranda. Bull up. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Okay, we have the second reading of Ordinance 2022-6, the blue light uh, ordinance as we called it. It's the second reading of all we read one of the ones. And uh, so anyway, a motion to do that. Make. 
Motion to Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Camp. Any discussion? <coughs> Being on the road call. Yeah. <coughs> Resolution 2023-1, the ARPA funds proposal, as you have a copy of it. And uh, several folks here to hear about that tonight. So, I would so move it. Motion by our king. This is the ARPA funds? Yes. yes. Second for discussion. Second to Joe Funds. Discussion. So, the list we have in front of us, is that where we're standing in, in line? On yes. The Okay. And all these will be funded with? Yes, sir. All no. you have to do is come in with a... Yeah, you have to get with the treasurer on how it can be spent if, if any departments are here. Uh, you, you have to, to get purchase orders for anything you're buying and, and get that to that to the number that you're, to the amount you're awarded is expanded. For some reason, I was thinking through. the fire departments and things will come up for some of these other ones. No, th these are all kinds. These are all going to be funded. These are all main. This, this whole list is going to be funded, is that right? Yeah. We, yeah. We this is ready to be funded. It's already been yeah. funded. Okay, so it's not going to be going down the list no. like the cold severance money. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, so when we pass this tonight, all these are funded. Yes. Okay. The only thing I'd like to point out is, uh, especially with the fire departments and the other entities, is there's, uh, I hate to say the word contract, but there's just an agreement for them to sign stating that they're going to follow the rules. Uh, I would like to make note that whoever signs that, that's the only person that can call and order something. I had some issues before with somebody else wanting to call and their name wasn't on it and there was some... Has any of that already been communicated? It will be. As soon okay. as this is passed, I'll send it out. Okay. You just want a designated individual? Yes. Only one? Yes. Okay. Well, for each fire department. Right. Yeah. Yes. If they get something over thirty thousand, it has to be bid. Yes, it correct? does, and that's stated in the agreement. Right. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have the clerk's uh, annual order setting amounts. That and the sheriff's is amended to reflect the 7% raise and uh, correct their payroll accounts. Do you need a motion, Judge? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I was talking. Go motion ahead. to Larry Cam. Say it again. What are we doing? The clerk's annual order. Okay. I'm sorry. I was. We're not paying attention. We still need a second. <coughs> on motion to Larry Cam. This is motion just on the clerk's right now. This is yes. it. I was about 7%. Uh, it, it was 7%. I'll second. Second by Larry Morphew. Well, we got that up, and I have, I have a question on the 7% yes. rates. Yeah. So, how do we do that administrative to all the employees? Was it based on what they actually make right then, or the base rates? Are you talking about the clerk's employees or all the others? It, everybody's. everybody's. Well, the clerk and sheriff are allowed to set their payroll at whatever they wanted. We just put 7% in their budget. Right. On all other county employees under the judge's office, it's seven, it was 7%. Based on what they actually make at the yes. time? Yes. Okay, it's not based on the base rate for that position? No. No, it's based on what they make at the time, I'd say. Yeah, it is. Yes. You're talking about the road department? Uh, I think that's on the base rate. Oh. And then all those other things are added on because that, they're a set rate. Should be what it should be it should be whatever they make though right because that's what everybody all the other employees make whatever they're making well, it's should, up to you all 
If you now, I, I was understanding that whatever they make right now, seven. seven yeah, seven that, right that's what I kind of okay. understand. Yeah, that's I'll go back and, and make sure. Because the only problem with that is if you go all the way back to the base rate, you've got someone that's, that's, that's been right. there for 10 years. I'm not saying that's the case, but just let's just snowball it. You go all the way out <coughs> 10 years and they've, they've worked their way up and they're getting paid the X amount of dollars when, when another person's getting their pay. <coughs> Uh, bonus or not bonus, but their raise on seven percent. They ought to get it on what they're making too. So you want the seven percent to be on the total of what they were making, but that has to go back to the base rate. That raise, whatever, keeping what the um, categories are the same, correct? Well, whatever they're making, uh -huh. that they're drawing on their check. Is what their seven percent should be applied per to. hour? Okay. Yes, 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 absolutely. Because other departments don't. Not all departments has right. a uh, a uh, base rate and, okay. and all that itemized like. But you're not raising the itemized part. I know what you're saying. You want it, the seven percent on the total. Okay. You've got to be fair across the board of yeah. what they're making then, yeah. or what they were making in June thirty. But you're keeping those add-ons the same, but the base rate is actually more than the seven percent because it's based on all this other. They add on show why they're making what right. they make right. because they have the ability to do run this piece of equipment or they got this license or whatever, but it doesn't really matter. That's the amount of money they make. Right. So that 7% needs to be figured on what they actually make at the time. Okay. Not going back to a base rate. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. Because they went and got <laughs> those whatever so it is. So a 7% increase on each, each column? But no, no, well, the total of right. what they were making on June the third. Yeah, but you have to. No, no, no. Yeah. If you got a person in another department and they make yeah. X amount of dollars, we don't have them itemized why they make that. Yeah. You can't penalize another department because they're going to get it, but it's all in the math. How? Well, we can, dis we can discuss it away from here. How to do it? The way I understand it, it's it's based on the base rate and. You know, they might be making a dollar or two more than what the base rate of that position is because they've 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 actually moved up and and got the incentives and the extra license. So it needs to be based on what they're getting paid. I'll show you the math when we go back to the office. I know what you're saying, but I want to make sure I'm doing it the way you're wanting it done. Okay. 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 And the sheriff and the clerk, they're on feet pooling anyway, so yeah. it doesn't affect them. No, it just came up to come, uh, that, just at this time in discussion, but that's okay. But we're ready for the, a vote on the clerk's uh, <clears throat> And So all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. That motion carried. And then we have the one to set the uh, sheriff. I'll sheriff's. make a motion to accept the uh, sheriff's annual order setting amounts. I'll second. Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Joe Barnes. To accept the sheriff's annual order setting amounts. Any discussion on his? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, you have the uh, help. Did you give it to Larry? Oh. Okay. Have you got another sheet of the health rates? Here it is. Uh, I'm going to have Larry Morphew to make the motion on that because he's on the committee. Oh, okay. uh, and it's leaving them the same as they were. Yeah, I'm told that at the last meeting. There's no rates on I know, but we got actually got accepted. We got to accept it. I make a motion that we accept the health department's <coughs> tax rate and it's the same sure as it was right. in 2021. And no compensating rate then? No, like it like was. I'll Motion by Larry Morphew, second by Larry King, to accept the uh, <coughs> tax rate set by the health board. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Uh, Charlie Shields, you still in the building? Oh, yes. Come up here. I'm in play. <laughs> We have fun around a little bit and got several people here tonight. I don't want you to think I've really been dark, ugly to him. I'm just, I, I just spoke that way. Uh, but we're opening the bid now on the truck. There's only one bid for the truck for that are vacant. Are you on here? 
read it? So this is for the Ohio County Emergency Management bid, a new Ram 2500 three quarter ton, crew cab four wheel drive, six, six foot four inch to bed, 6.4 gas, $55,765 on the road. We're halfway through the year, is it a 23 or 22? 23. That's all the bid we got. From and when would it be in? Uh, they told me the other day it'd be eight. Well, they're rolling up, haven't they? Okay. Uh, well, have you got the information to do the other step that we got today? Yes. Okay. They just let's go ahead and set, verbal on that. But let's set this bid, and then we'll go ahead and 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 Claire's truck he's driving down surplus. So you can sell it after like this one. That's what I was going to ask. Uh, yeah. You got any information? What you can get out of that one? Yeah, more, that's why more than we're given for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. More than we're given for this one. Well, that's, that's why we're buying a new one. Uh, no, I don't think more no, out no, of it. No, no, it's less. It's less. It's a few thousand dollars less. But How many? I misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, when I went to Lord Moore's the other day, they they drove it, they checked it and all. They said get 42.5 out of the truck I'm driving now. So, and that one truck went up since the last time we so that's $13, done it. $13,000. Okay. So, how many miles you got on your truck, Charlie? 42, getting ready to be 43. And when you hit 50,000, it drops again. Because they showed me all the numbers, because I actually didn't believe them. And they showed me the numbers on that. So it's $13,000 difference on that. Okay. So. But, so, but we would have money from that before this one came here. You need to specify where the additional money is going to be. The, 13, the 12000 or whatever. What would we do with this one? You said sell it. Sell it. Mm -hmm. She'll pay for that. My only thing with uh, selling it is uh, do we have other vehicles? Do we need to move out of other apartments? It's old. Um, actually, uh, <laughs> Actually, I don't for that type of type of truck. Everybody's pretty good shape. Well, I think we got a couple old ones at the road department. There's an old red Dodge half ton yeah. that's been out there for a long time. I guess one of the questions I'll have to reiterate what Ann said before we're going to get to the monkey. And to help out with that, there's some other equipment that we're getting surplus tonight that I can use towards that. And had some gov deals. We still don't know the exact number we got because you know gov deals. It could be a dollar to ten thousand. We sold to Ann was no way up here to give eight hundred dollars. We made ten thousand dollars off of it. So, so we got some equipment we're gonna surplus tonight that we could use towards that. But I mean, it's wherever the court do. It's just a way to keep trucks going, to keep newer trucks in the fleet. Instead of driving like the road department's got, had that old red truck. Yeah, that, that's It's got 150,000 miles about to fall apart. And just the way of doing it is to let them go and go. So do we do we let this truck go back and be sold, or do you do you take? You then you have fifty-five thousand dollars right. total for a truck, right? Instead of twelve or thirteen. That's Help us out here, man. That, that was. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just bringing up the. Yeah, we get off the first. Or we're just asking them questions. When we originally talked about this, we thought it was going to come. You know, it was going to be one of those. The high side, yeah. It was going to be actually, they were going to give us as much as what we was going to get a truck because we got the, uh, the, the county was able to buy them cheaper than what an individual could. That's what I was saying. And, or make a little bit of profit. You know, you hear about that out there. So, but now it came in $13,000 less. So we've been doing it on a dump truck. We actually make more than we get Right. This is at the time they said over. We, no, I mean, we can go back to them and try to finagle around and do some other things and see what we come up with. But I'm, I'm game for whatever y'all want to do. Yeah. Well, the only thing, only thing, my only concern is, Charlie, is, is if, uh, as Joe said, if we uh, keep the keep your truck and buy a new one, but I want to know that it doesn't put us in any kind of financial bind, then I want to know where the money's coming. What else you well, surplus? Hey, which truck? one? Which one are we going to surplus out if to take its place? If it were to go, to, if it were to go to the road department, then they will have to pay that. But it, you know, it takes them out road budget, road equipment budget. To pay the difference or what? Not to pay what the truck, the forty-two thousand. Pay, pay what the dollars that run. Oh, the fifty-five. 
No, no, the, the lesser amount. The 42,000. Where did that money come from? Now, so they have that Yeah, but where are they going to get it? Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Could I, you, would you like to table this and I discuss it in the road committee meeting in, in two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. And so we'll have road part meeting at 4 o'clock. All right. And then go yeah. back at them and see what the is that the only better deal? Yeah, is that the only place that you're looking to find that other truck? Is the work? Well, we put it out in the paper. Nobody else wants to bid. I've called. Have I've it. called Pogue. No, I've called I'm Champions. about the red truck, the other truck, the one you have now that they offered you 42. Yeah, that's the only place I went to here local here in town. But you would be surprised, uh, Charlie, as to what that old red truck. I know you may think. Well, and that's whatever. that's kind of what I'm gonna get ready to ask y'all. Yeah. We can we can kind of see what that old red truck will bring, and then we can add that to this and make up the difference. Whatever y'all, everybody y'all want to do that. Yeah. Because I'm I'm going to ask. We need surplus this old car tonight. I'll, I'll hand this out. My only thing is I hate to give a truck that's only a year old at forty four thousand and keep a red truck that's got how many how many miles is on that truck? <laughs> Probably two hundred. Two hundred, three hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. I think it's more than 200. It probably is. Yeah. And it's a half ton. It would be better fit to have three quarter ton out there. What did you do with the bumper off of this truck, Tyler? I don't know where it went to. i got I got to ask somebody where that went to, but uh, I'll find it. Uh, we need a surplus of Dodge Charger 2007 model. And, and Charlie, if you will, get us some numbers on what, uh, what you think you might get out of that surplus of that. The old red Chevrolet out there at Road Farm. Okay. I'll, I'll make that. a motion table this. Yeah. Second. I'll say that. I'll say that. Okay. Everybody in favor of table that vote aye. 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 Okay. Is table aye. 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 Okay, we want to surplus this 2007 Dodge Charger, uh, two-door sedan, be sold on Guzzi. Oh, wait, motion. Motion by Jason Miller. I'll save it. Second by Joe Barn. How many miles is on that? 180. 180. 180. Yeah. Charlie, don't run off. Next, uh, uh, next item on the agenda is you. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like that? Okay. Uh, you were with, I think this is where you're going there. You were with the viewing committee for yes, the sir. Line. Yes, sir. And you with three of you in the on the committee. Yes, sir. Myself, Nick Wooler, and Jason Gary. Can you pass this to I've attached with the paperwork. I've attached the maps of it of the. I think it's 750 feet that they want to take in back to the gentleman's uh, land. Uh, it would take a lot of work for the road department uh, and a lot of money. So it is nowhere up to specs for our road specs as of this moment. When you start talking about, talking about uh, Charlie, a lot of money, what? Well, I mean, it's... Sorry, is Nick, is Nick here? Is Nick here? It's a dirt trail right now that you take an ATV down it. Yeah. So you got to dozer it, Nick said, and you got to bring the rock in, you got to put the ditches in it, you got to get the widening. All How that. long is it? Uh, I think they was asking 750 feet for it. If, if, we, uh, if we put this off to the next meeting, road, uh, road park meeting, when we go at 4 o'clock at our next meeting, do you think you might come up with some uh, some, some kind of figures as far as expense. I, I can get with you're, Nick and try. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're being pretty broad here, Charlie. Yeah, I can get with Nick because he just said it would take the guys a good two weeks uh, away from everything else to go out there and do that. Okay, we'll put that off until the next. Well, I thought they had to get it up to specs if we took it in anyway. That's kind of what I thought. So our bylaws say that, that it has to be so much more rock, it has to be ditched. Because we actually done that in your area. And it needs, but of course now there's also to be, but is this an extension of a road? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Extension is a little bit different than taking in a new road, but you got to have residential people on yeah. there. Yeah, there's only two people that this would affect. Is there two houses on it? No, just... there's no houses. It's only farmland. One gentleman wants it, one gentleman don't want it. Well, we can't take it in anyway if they don't. So, 
I didn't agree that part, but yeah, there's two gentlemen who orders this. The guy in the very back wants it. The guy who owns on both sides of it to you, to that guy's land does not want it. Well, if he didn't want it, we, we have to have an easement. But he actually has no way to get in and right. out of these no, big fields. We, we got it right here out of the petition we, for a road. We put in, we put in a set. We yeah, he can't landlock his, the guy back to the road. I mean, no. But we put, the ordinance says if we take in a new road. Right. This ordinance was uh, put together years and years ago. But it has to have a minimum of three houses per hectare. Right, right. But an existing county road. We can take it back in as it is, but my my concern more than anything else is, uh, I think legally, you may have to ask Justin or county attorney. Uh, legally, I think we can take it in, but but I'm I'm concerned about the time and the effort and expense, and I, that's the reason I want Charlie to put these numbers together for to give you guys a better. I have it broke down rock and. I mean, yeah, yeah, he should be able to know how many people, two weeks, and then how much rock and tiles. I have that. And I, I say I attached the map. But I thought, the map, Larry, so. if, it, what, if, it, if you're in the road, you still have to have the easement. I mean, no, not an existing county road. Uh, okay. That's, and that's so my understanding, Charlie. So, Mike, so there's an easement there somewhere. There's an existing that isn't that was an old county road. They mind. said it was at one time. I could not find it. Did we ever do any work on it? We never have since I've been around. Well, I've been here 33 years. Yeah. And I, we have and I could not find it. They said it was, and then they took 750 feet off of it, and nothing ever was done until this tornado came through. It's the first time I've heard about it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, that's when this gentleman come up wanting us to take 750 feet in to get to it. And as I attached a detailed map of a flyover and, uh, on it. My understanding, and I don't know the KRS, but after so many years, it reverts back to the landowner's property. But now, it's still an old county roadbed that's closed. Now, he can't land, you can't close he the bridge. He can't landlock. I mean, there's no has case. access. It's not a public road, but Correct. he still has access. I mean, I walked back there to that spot. Yeah, you when can't we, landlock. We, when we walk back there, it's just okay. that. Well, we'll take it up to the road. Does this, does this uh, road landlock the individual if it was closed? I know the courts If it closes, it will. Yeah, the but courts never closed it. Right. No, no but he can still go back road. there on the ATV or walk back there as before. And actually, the tornado, some of the trees, the other guy who don't want the road closed, he moved some of the trees out of the way for that gentleman. Yeah. So he can still go back there. So, so there's a number of questions. We got to know first if the county ever accepted it as a county road. If they accepted it as a county road at some point, there is the, the, the it is easier to extend that roadway. However, if that portion was never accepted as a county road, it could be public access for this one person through the public's continued use for an extended period of time, which would which could be an old county road roadway or something like that. But it would not be anything in the county. Could extend without going through the proper procedures, which would include a possible easement. So there's a lot of questions that we'd have to, to dive into to see. Yeah, everything I found, even when it's called Grad and everywhere else, by the number of the Gillum Road where it stops at, is where it stops at. Is where it's always kind of stopped. Which where it's always stopped at. Uh, yeah. I could not find nothing where they're saying this is. So. Yeah. I, I mean, could, some deeds may reference it. You just yeah. never know. I didn't go deep hunting. But, but, but the, the deeds could reference more of a public access as opposed to an official county road. Okay. So there's just a lot of questions that we probably would have to, this, this probably couldn't be entertained tonight. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll do some more research on it and have it to the road committee meeting when we take out the trash. Down to it. Justin, are you going to hold on to that? Excuse me? Do you need to hold on to that? Uh, can I pick this up? It's not safe for me to hold on to something and take with me and send it to yeah. the truck. So yeah, you better, you better take that's it. That's tough. Me to pick it up in the morning. Yeah. I'll set it in my truck. And yeah. Uh, we got. We're going, we're going to try to move on here. We have some guests that we're going to get to here just in a little while. Sure enough, we are. We're usually not this long on these items, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, but we've got two more items. One, I've got one personnel issue. I put up uh, Elijah Barner, Barner, courthouse janitor, part time, two twelve an hour effective uh, uh, immediately, but I hired him on executive order yesterday. How much an hour? 2 12? 12, 12. 12, 12. <laughs> 7 24 is effective day. And it's in the budget and yeah. by the... the we have, matter of fact, we've had the, the, the 
position has been vacant for uh, two, two months or so, so the budget's good on that. I'm sorry, Judge, you said 724, and what was the amount? I'm sorry. 1212. 1212. Okay, well, that's better. Broken 12. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Just uh, now, what is the vacant? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morgue? Yes. That, uh, that is done. So now I'm going to ask the coroner to uh, come up and do his presentation, and then our guests will be next. We got a copy of our judge has got the copy there of what we turned in for the bids, yeah. the uh, estimates on everything. Um, there's four, I believe there is, there's four estimates total. One for heating and cooling, one for general contracting, and paint, paint, paint. inside the building, outside the building. Uh, electric. The electrical is the most critical part. That's got to be done first and foremost to bring things up to camp code. And it's the very top page. Yeah, I didn't make copies for everybody. Okay. I'm sorry. So much. So we got to see one of you guys. That one. <laughs> He said the electrical would have to be phase one if we do it in phase. The electrical still has the old screw in panel, screw in fuse panel. Uh, all the wiring needs to be installed in conduit. Um, brought up the code from that standpoint. There's nothing, absolutely nothing has been done over the years to upgrade that. So how much was electrical? Uh, twelve thousand nine hundred sixty dollars. And was that just one bid? That's the only bid we got. Yeah. Okay. That's Tiger Electric. And then we got the uh, heat and cooling. Heat and cooling was from Martin. Yep. How much? How much is it? Uh, twelve thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. We, but he's going to have to install a complete ductwork system there. That's, that's my there. understanding. That was the way that he is I, that Charlie might have a better understanding on that. Charlie and I actually had talked about them doing some type of split system, <coughs> split uh, units. Actually, on the heating, we just had the heat in the, in the office area in the front. and the front. We could get by with that. Uh, in, in the heat the, area uh, yes. in the office. Yeah, and also with. Uh, the higher, of course, were the coolers. Oh, uh, back the coolers. Yes. And that's did, also, did, did I did think. Did he break it down that way? Or did he? I don't uh, think he broke it down that but way. But you're only talking about those other two bays, so yeah. you're still probably going to have to say about the same system to Pretty cool much. that back bay. The little duck work so you'll be safe. I think enough of the cool air and the heat bulb will filter mm -hmm. back in that back bay area there, and we might be able to. Because you've got the heat of the condenser off of the cooling unit. Okay. That's actually going to generate some that we are thinking of. Had uh, Taylor's also included in his and exhaust fan for that area too. That'll help considerably. Hey, Ann, have we spent all the ARPA money? And second question is if we haven't, would it cover, cover some of this? You need to ask the judge that. He said that this was the last resolution on ARPA money, so that's his call. We think good. I don't know. We, uh, I think that's something we've had to research a little bit. Okay. Uh, do we have enough in ARPA to do it? We don't we, have any more. We, we yeah. actually don't at this minute. Yeah, we have to just pass that resolution. We don't at this time. Do you foresee any coming down the pipe? Yeah, we foresee something. Pain. Yes. You got two different ones here. One's, one's inside, one's outside. outside. Okay. Yeah. 
the one for outside is the uh, roll-up doors. Is it? Yeah, includes the roll-up doors. Six thousand dollars. That's the whole building pressure washing off. Now this one here, where it has labor on it. Yeah. He told us that it would take ten gallons here, twenty here. We already have paint. Paint pressure washer. Oh, okay. We we'll get some inmates to save some money on that. Possibly we could try that. And help us in the spare time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a new brother. <laughs> well, if we got the inside painting, we could always do the outside. Right? <coughs> it yeah. just looks bad, but if the inside was done and clean, that would, uh, would be all right for the time being. The main goal of the whole thing is to get it functioning. Let me give you this thing back here. Uh, uh, yeah, I have to take this is all I think he had a little bit of a little bit of a little I of a little bit 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 of a little Look at it in a month or so and see if we have any unanticipated revenue. We we'll do another phase. Have we got the revenues to either to do the 12 six or whatever? 12 nine six. very much. How much surplus do we have this year in? Back in July, or uh, in the first of July. We usually put about 300 in surplus to last us for the whole year. That's about what we have. What if we went ahead and done the first phase, just that? This is the I think you need the electrical then because it, you can't do any heat and cooling because you put this right heat now. cooling system and it's... That's what I mean. To do electrical, then we'll try to figure out where we might get money okay. to another phase. Let, let me then entertain a motion that we do the electrical in the first phase of what we're going to do and it to be uh, paid for out of the reserves, in upcoming check. reserves, in which check. will be after, after the first, after July. You want to do it check to the for another place. Yeah, be your motion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that'll go without saying. Yeah. That'd be right. Yeah. I'll second it. So, out of reserves? Yeah. Motion by Larry County, second by Larry Morty. Any further discussion? We'll get that done, guys, and we'll take we'll take a look at it. Like I told you, Larry, actually, you know, the, it is a county building, and so all yeah, the money is spent, it's like, not like buying Right. something from yeah. scratch and you already yeah. own it. Quite well, frankly, it needed to be brought up to par a long yeah. ago. Yeah, it's been yeah. let go a long it time. It has that city or something. Well, they had to, they, they owned the building, didn't they? No, 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 we, we own the building. We always own the building. Yeah, yeah. we've been using the fire department all these years. Okay, didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I guess we're ready to all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed like to aye. Uh, with that said, you can Go ahead and tell your electrical guy to start. Uh, and I'll be digging and working and see if we can find another face. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Thank you all. 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 you come up to Microsoft, introduce yourself, and uh, either you or you can have uh, your friends help you and, and do us about, just give us about 10 minutes worth. Sure. And then we're going to go for a committee and really be serious about trying to figure out if we can and what we can do. My name is Sarah Coots, for y'all that don't know me. Um, you'll notice this group of people, many more that couldn't make it here tonight, but that are very interested in this. We would like the county to um, see if we can utilize the new Kentucky off-highway vehicle pilot program. So this program allows a county government or municipality to um, designate county roadways where you can legally ride side-by-sides or four-wheelers and there are a lot of rules and regulations safety things things like that you have to designate specific areas um, and Judge Johnson said that the first step to that is, is for you all to form a committee and see if that's something that you can help with and so that's what we're here to ask you to do tonight. Um, we 
myself personally and I'm sure several others you know would be happy to help do the legwork and things like that you know we don't expect the the county to take on any burden from this in fact um, our thinking was sort of to have a, a purchase permit so actually make the county a little bit of money also support our local businesses I mean we now even have a, a side-by-side -side repair shop you know so this is it's a very popular thing and we would like to we would like to have a riding park <laughs> but for right now this possibly gives us an opportunity to at least ride the back roads legally you know that's where people are doing it anyway so let's Ma Master Barnes and I have been working on that other part for a long time sure and we'll continue to try to get that to come together so when you're saying can I ask a question because I'm not I'm not a, you're saying choose roads we would choose roads I mean when you're saying how would you choose would you just not open if you're going to do this would it not just be how do you what would you choose roads I mean that would be a committee or would that be something you just the, actually would you just not open the county roads and the say, state I believe no, of course no you have to name each road yeah, if you put I believe they you require you to name each, each one, one. And you could do it on a per road basis, you know what I mean? Right. right. Old Hickory yes. Road, for instance, or whatever. She was getting the county could agree to do that on it. I would think that uh, on these roads, if you did take in one, all of the terrain vehicles would have to have turn signals and lights. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and that's something that Judge Johnson brought up to me also. Most of these vehicles come stock with a lot of that. Um, one of the common things that they don't have are the turn signals but you can buy a $20 kit and our side-by-side -side repair shop can put it on there for you, <laughs> you know. Um, so that that's very easily overcome and, and most people aren't gonna have a problem yeah. with that. I do know that farmers, even now, they're allowed to use their four wheels mm -hmm. from farm to farm and I don't know whether that was state regulated or whatever, it didn't come to the county. But right, yeah, I'm not I, sure I, how I'm that not, works. I, I'm not versed enough well on it to talk about it really, quite frankly. Yeah, and there are other um, it can only be in the daylight. I it think, can only be in the daylight. You have to be 18. You have to have a, a valid driver's license. You have to have insurance. You have to have it in your vehicle, just as if you were driving a car. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, in reality, some of these ATVs are they're just as quick, almost as well as a car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, know, mine's safer just, than my car, 100%. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's not so, too far away from open, uh, you know, cab and the jeep. So. Right. Exactly. So, but all the all the vehicles have to be have to have insurance just like an automobile yes yes I, i'm sure that's something the committee would want to know so yeah, yeah. yeah. neighboring counties mclean Middleburg, are they doing something like this or no we found out about this from oh Muhlenberg is Muhlenberg. Muhlenberg County is. it's fairly new yeah well it, now you know i don't know if it's legal but you know you go out in eastern kentucky they, they well that's where we heard about it from pike right. county is doing this right. they, i think it was kind of sort of started for them of course they have different resources over there because it's the appalachian region right. where is that um, place joe up in eastern kentucky where everybody goes up and rides and black mountain and takes over black, the mountain. black mountain yeah. Yeah. yeah they actually we we just a few weeks ago went there they have a phenomenal camping area. I mean, it's one of the nicest, and it's big in tourist, Harlan County. Big tourist attraction. And it's yeah. one of the, the nicest uh, campgrounds, cabins, and stuff that we've stayed in. You know, and it's in Harlan County, if you can imagine. You know, because y'all, how kind of economically shows. depressed they are right. in Harlan County. So. Well, they took advantage of what they had, you know. So. Well, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So. So we should do the same. If David will appoint a committee, then we'll the committee will look into it, and we'll certainly. Get and back well, to and when you appoint a committee, is that something that that myself or, yes. or someone else absolutely can be involved want to get, in? Yeah, we will need all your contact for okay. place because you definitely will be. In, in fact, okay. David can put you on the committee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you will want to definitely have people with large. Yeah. you forward. you can be you can be the number one appointed. Okay. Give you have any contact information to Miranda for you. Okay. Do you have a copy of? Uh, Newport County or whatever they're go, what they go by. Or um, I can I I have it on my phone the the statute that it goes. Right. That Just it something goes to read about. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the charges committee will be also to research the law, which is probably much pretty much done that, and then you will uh, then you will uh, uh, do the scope of it, 
and uh, look and see which roads are feasible that to do it or not. Uh, but I want you to serve on it. Uh, which one of the magistrates, which one of you guys will do it to serve on it? Larry Count will serve on it. Uh, I'll serve on it. I just okay, and Joe Barnes too. I'll be on it temporary. Good. Now, well, we we want to very good. Me and you both be well, and uh, but we'll pass it along. Yeah, just at the end of the year, we'll be. Uh, and uh, but yeah, no, it's a pilot program, so it actually ends in 2024. Well, I just like to read about see how they do it. I'm yeah, just and I, I, and, uh, I can. My Email question would be the age. I don't. I really. The only way I would kind of be for it is if they were licensed driver adults, kind of licensed and over eighteen. The road. I think. Yeah. And, and, then, and it's it's for four wheels, so yeah. dirt bikes are not sure included. Well, I'm just, you know, and I'm just curious as to how you're going to. Honestly, if you're going to do it, you might as well just open all. Yeah, and every part is to uh, much roads. Oh. And, uh, and you started speeding. Yeah. Did you start to say something? earlier about something about state you started to say something about state was it something about state roads or yeah there's actually a, a part of that even one step further um that says that we can the county could petition the state to open certain state roads for riding so that would be i would think like you know if you could ride to I don't know, Liberty, Liberty Road and go to the Minute Mart and get Rochester fuel Road or, or Rochester like Road to get yeah. something to eat, you know, not something like that. 231. Yeah. And, uh, right, right, right. Not not the main drag per right. se. But. I, I, want, I want somebody on law enforcement to be involved in it too. Uh, and there's one gentleman here in the back, if he'll agree to it, I want to point him. I have never signed it, I never pointed him to a committee before. So, I would like to name Adam Wright as one of them. Your Honor, I'd like to present myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, gonna, he needs to be, his input needs to be, because that's going to impact yeah, him too. Sure. So that's our committee, and they'll meet, you'll get together with me, and I would expect you to report back to this court in a month. Right. Thank you very much. Is that, did I cover? The second meeting in August, the committee needs to report back here. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Judge, I won't be here at the second meeting in August. I'm going to be, but Joe will take over. Yeah, yeah okay. this is the first meeting. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you informed. Yeah, but I've got a jail meeting in Butler County, so. I'll Go ahead and do that report, right? Okay. We'll, uh, open uh, to do that now. Okay, we just, just to bring the court up to date on what uh, transpired at the uh, meeting we had in Butler County a week ago. Um, we had a gentleman that come, out, come down from the state that's over the, uh, I suppose, juvenile end of it. But they're they are wanting to sell the boys the old, I guess the boys camp is that what they call it Justin yeah. the boys camp uh, they're interested in getting rid of it uh, they would like to uh, certainly give it to us on either a 99 year lease or sell it to us at X amount of dollars or whatever which we haven't come up with yet but anyway that's the process our next meeting we're going to be dealing with uh, people that uh, have some. Uh, knowledge of the state and the rules and the regulations as far as jail, jails are concerned and uh, so but the gentleman that come down from the state and unfortunately I can't remember his name but he'll be reporting to us whether or not that uh, the boys camp will be for sale and uh, give us some options that the court may want to pursue uh, in which way, which direction that the court may want to go so um, that's about it, Judge. And then we got, like I said, we've got another meeting the second week, second, fourth Tuesday in August, and I'll be able to inform the court a little more then. Okay. Thanks. That's exciting. I'm thinking we've been talking about this for a few years now, and it's been seemed like it's moving at a snail's pace, but it seems like we may really be uh, somewhere now. It took us a long time to get our interlocal agreements uh, agreed on between the three counties. In case anyone didn't know, it's Ohio Butler and Edmondson County are, are trying to uh, go together. We're all in need of a new jail, so our our plan is to go together and try to do it together. It'll make it easier for us to get federal and state aid by being a multi-county deal. Yes, so, but, but understand, we, there's been no commitments either from the state or the county <coughs> as to that building yet. It's still very preliminary yes, as yes. far as discussions. Yes. Is Charlie already left? Yes. Yeah. Uh, would you make note, Judge, that if he can, uh, as I've said before, there's three tri-county jails in the state of Kentucky where three counties have went together, 
And if we could get one of those individuals um, from one of those Tri-County Jails to come at our next meeting in Butler County where, where we could ask him questions of uh, who runs the jail. I know a jailer runs the jail, but how does that affect our jailers or whatever? Uh, but he could be very informative to the board. Uh, but if you could get Charlie to uh, see if he could uh, talk one of those individuals into coming and what have the conversation. What date, what time? 23rd. What time? 4.30. Uh, that's all. Good. Is there any other committee reports? No. Is there any other uh, uh, committee reports? So how about going let's go to the magistrates? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Uh, out of the road department, um, we've got an individual. He, he countlessly uh, buys parts that he can find online. You know, saves county a lot of money. But the, the problem with that is, is um, when he finds them online, you know, he's having to pay out of his pocket. And it's great that we've got an employee that will do that. But some of these parts are like fifteen hundred dollars, and then you know you got to get reimbursed by the county. I, think it would be better if we had some kind of card, credit card out there that's locked up that when they see something like that, that that's online, they can make the purchase because, you know, I hate to have an individual uh, paying out of his pocket, you know, waiting until we approve of bills and claims to get paid back or however that process is going because that's, you know, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't, wouldn't want to. Certainly wouldn't have a problem with it. The only thing is just to be made, made available just to one particular individual. Yeah, well, I think it'd have to be governed through uh, yeah. Nick and Ann. Yeah. But, you know, I think it'd make it a lot easier because there's, you know, you know, I was paying for the parts out of my pocket and I've already found several deals, but I'm at 1500 and $2,000. Even if I'm gonna find another good deal for the county, I'm probably at my limit of what I'm gonna be able to buy. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't wanna, go out too far on that limb now, so <coughs> we did have some issues as recent we went to that room uh, we've got we, one internet card now we, we've had uh, a lot of uh, we had a lot of is it plagiarism is no, no it's not the right word people got our cards no fraudulent charges. fraudulent charges well we need to we figure out a, if, it, if it's not a card issue we need to figure out another way we can do it because uh, I don't think I mean, that's great. We got individuals that are willing to do that, but at the same time, that's asking a lot. Do you have any suggestions then? Um, we can try one card again. Uh, uh, is that just, just one person be in control of it? Well, no, we we have to. They have to develop some policies and procedures with respect to that card, and the auditor's office would want to see some about two people uh, sign off on that purchase order for attending. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a few things they want to do other than to give one. Just, and I, and I think on this, you know, when they're researching a part for like tractors and everything, you're you're in depth searching to make sure it's going to be the right part and everything. So there's a little bit of time there that can be actually processed, you know, given to Nick. Nick can talk to Ann, and then the car could be could be utilized. I don't think it needs to be necessarily. Oh, I found a part and just yeah, put the car number out right there. These procedures, these procedures they need to go through. Then we can take care of that as well. There's several. It could be the quarter. It could be internally. With, with the own department. I think the problem is is because kind of like a deal a, well that way a firm with several credit cards and when you get on sites like that somehow those hackers know exactly yeah. where to go to say if you've got 10 cards you're the odds are you might overlook this charge well can we, we do can try it and see can we send a link or uh, look at how we would do that send the link to your office where you can make the purchase there well it was getting on ebay and those sites those type of sites but hey we can try it again because i mean it, see. i guarantee you the the individual's doing it for us that's exactly how he's having to do it is use yeah. his card and we're asking him to take the risk yeah and and he's never fussed about it this is first i really understood yeah. what was going on but i just don't think that's as, as professional as we can be on that. Yeah, one, I mean, one thing I think we need probably need to keep in mind we uh, to just keep hackers off or whatever, we probably need to put some kind of cap on X amount of dollars, 2000 or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, we'll, we'll work on it try to give us it to go. But we quit, we quit doing it that way because of a lot of problems. Yeah, I think back in the eight, 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 one time seven, eight we had ago. cards per department and they all did, yeah. Yeah. So, in, 
No, thank you, Judge. Is anyone else going to thank for the good of the body before we adjourn? I no. just wanted to mention to Jared uh, and to Tammy, if anytime you want to come by the office and I'll go over everything with you on your grants that were awarded to our okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, nobody else in the board has any. Thank, Thank you guys for coming out. This is a big travel. Good, good. Good to see y'all. <laughs>